13-year-old Maddie Soto has been missing since Monday morning. And this exclusive video you see right here when Fox 35 spoke with her mom on Tuesday night, you could see her boyfriend sitting in that Zoom interview right behind her. We've circled him on the screen there. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. And I'm John Brown. That same man is the man who deputies walked into the Orange County Jail last night. And we have live team coverage of his arrest, plus the latest in the search for Maddie. And we're going to begin with Fox 35's Randy Hildreth. So Randy, Andy, you've been digging into the arrest today. What did you find out? Yeah, good evening to you both. We got this warrant from the Kissimmee Police late this afternoon. Now, some of the details in this warrant too graphic to share on TV, but I can tell you in looking through it, one of the things that stood out, investigators say the mom's boyfriend, Stefan Starnes, uh, Stearns, told investigators that he did a factory reset on his phone the same day Maddie was reported missing. Maddie, if you see this, please come home. A mother begs for answers to Fox 35 in the search for her missing daughter, 13-year-old Maddie Soto. I'm trying to hope for the best, but I'm just, I'm scared for her. I want her to be okay. Days later, Orange County Sheriff's Office names the man in the back of our interview as their prime suspect in the case, Stefan Stearns, Maddie's mom's boyfriend. Stearns is the last known person to have seen Maddie. He is not charged in the teen's disappearance, but was arrested last night and charged with sexual battery and possession of child sexual abuse material. Kissimmee police are assisting with the case. They say investigators uncovered the images on Stearns' phone and the alleged acts happened inside the family's home in Kissimmee. In the arrest affidavit, it notes Stearns, quote, provided consent to search his phone. However, he stated he accidentally Accidentally performed a factory reset on his phone on February 26th, 2024. The same day, Maddie was reported missing. Stearns was expected in court today in connection to these new charges, but... Based upon his uh, refusal to come to court, he's got an out-of-county warrant out of Osceola County. His bonds will remain at none. Meanwhile, still no Maddie. Whenever you have a person go missing, especially a child, Timing is critical. Matt Aubin isn't connected to the search, but has helped law enforcement agencies in Florida and across the country with missing person cases. He says investigators are not only looking into the area where Maddie went missing, but also who she may have come in contact with and what happened leading up to her disappearance. When investigating something, one, old is gold. We have to go far back into their history as far as we have to in order to truly map out everyone and everything that's linked to that person. Now again, Stearns is being held in jail with no bond tonight. Reporting live in Kissimmee, Randy Hildreth, Fox 35 News. Thanks, Randy. Meanwhile, the search for Maddie continues. Deputies are not doing an organized search today, but they are still following up on leads. Fox 35's Hannah McKenzie continues our live team coverage tonight. So, Hannah, you were the one that was talking to Maddie's mom when you saw the boyfriend behind her during your interview. Yeah, John, that was on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday night, law enforcement announced Stefan Stearns as the prime suspect in the disappearance of Maddie Soto. Now, when I spoke with Maddie's mother, Jen, on Tuesday, Stearns was in the back of that interview and he made his presence known. He grabbed a chair and loudly set it down behind Maddie's mom and stayed there throughout most of our conversation. He was also cracking his knuckles and fidgeting with his hands after watching his man we actually reached out to Susan Constantine. She's a human behavior investigator to get her professional opinion. In my personal opinion, I would have said, Sheriff's Office, you need to take a really good look at this guy. He is pre presenting to me suspect behavior. A lot of times people, when they're trying to hide something, their body becomes very rigid and very hyper-focused. We see that a lot. You also see him, at one of these, cracking his, his, his um, knuckles. You'll see that later on, okay? That's a way to release tension. The point is, Tension is actually one of the uh, 27, what we call points of interest, points of interest that can lead to possible deception or suspect behavior. 
Constantine has aided law enforcement in numerous high-profile investigations across the country. And something else she told us during that interview, it's no matter what a person is saying, oftentimes their body language will betray them by sending those all-important non-verbal cues. Now, where we're standing right now is believed to be one of the last places Maddie Soto was seen. This is allegedly where Stearns dropped her off on Monday morning. As you can see behind me, there are flyers posted here in the area. And as we arrived, some kiddos were actually getting out of school, which is where Maddie attends school. It's just not far, just down the sidewalk here. And they were actually holding a prayer circle for Maddie's safe return. If you at home know anything about Maddie Soto's whereabouts or have any information that may aid law enforcement in this investigation, you're asked to reach out. Call Crime Line, call Orange County Sheriff's Office, and get that information to them. Reporting live in Kissimmee, Hannah McKenzie, Fox 35 News. And stay with Fox 35 Orlando as we follow this case very closely. We had the full exclusive interview with the mom and with her boyfriend sitting right behind her posted on Fox Local. And you can watch the whole interview on the Fox 35 News app.